Hello, class. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I just hear you. I can hear you. Yes, teacher. All right, cool. So how was your day today? Not that good, actually. Oh my I God, you're sick. still... Oh my yeah, God. I'm getting worse. Yeah, Susana, you, you're getting worse. Yeah. Nidia Esmeralda, we need your experience. Nidia. Nidia, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi. Yes, teacher. Did you hear Susan? Listen to Susan. What do you recommend her? Um, you recommend is a prednisona. De 50 milligrams una diaria por cinco días. What, what are you taking? Para, now, eh, para la ronquera, para desinflamar las amígdalas. Yeah, I'm taking it right now. Okay. You're taking that in this moment? Yeah, the doctor uh, prescription was that and some antibiotics. And uh, I don't know, uh, some spray for something. Oh, a lot of uh, medicine, actually. I, I'm taking like four or five things, different things. What about your chest? Does your chest hurt? Sorry, what did you say? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I don't want to make you talk too much. You uh, just, you can just say yes or no. What yeah. about your chest? Does your chest hurt? Yeah, but just when I, uh, when I cough. Okay. You know what I recommend you? Mm -hmm. um, because I have asthma. Mm -hmm. But now it's not so terrible. When I was a little kid, it was very terrible. Um, what I recommend to you get a wakal you will never see that wakal again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and get vix mm -hmm. get a bottle of vix and get all the vix and put it in that wakal right mm -hmm. and then put boiling water mm -hmm. like boiling water and put a towel oh, and, like, um, and start mm -hmm. breathing that and you will feel it's, it's it's a little strong. It's very strong, actually. And you will feel your lungs open like. Oh. I'll try that. Um, in fact, I, I did that when I do that with my son. Well, when, he, when my son was a baby and uh, he had he had that, I would get the wakal and put it under his cuna in the room. So. But Vix, y le digo porque esa guacal ya nunca la va a usar porque es imposible quitarle Vix a un guacal. I know, I hate that. It's forever. Well, because of that, uh, I, I can stand the smell, but, but I mean, it's medicine, so. Yeah, no, but I, I, well, I love that smell. Really? I don't, I, I don't like that much. Um, but I think, I think there's Vix different different types of um different types of eucalypto and stuff like that but but really it works i i promise you it's okay okay so let's try not to <laughs> try not to talk susan <laughs> And in in the last case of scenario, tequila, man. <laughs> tequila or whiskey, there's a fireball that you feel like <sighs> when you drink it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> or you can say yes, but no. <laughs> All right. Okay. What about the rest of the class? How are you, Alejandra? Beatrice. Oh. 
Are you there? Okay. Um, how are you, Joanna Yesenia? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, nice. What about you? You know, I feel I feel very strange because all day I thought today was Wednesday. I don't know why. And it's Tuesday. So my week is going to be longer. Hmm. Today's Tuesday, right? Yeah. It's Tuesday. Yes. And I thought today was Wednesday. Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So, but what about you, Edgar? How are you? I'm pretty good, teacher. How was your day today? It was good. It, it was. Well, it was that. I mean, everything normal. How's your How's your Tigo? Tigo business. Today we we close because we went to Soyapango. My wife is playing softball, and she had two games tomorrow. At Close to Soyapango in Montes. Oh, really? Your wife yeah. plays softball? Yeah, she plays softball. She's a pitcher. Yeah, I was going to... What, she's a pitcher? Nice. Yeah. Hey, that's good. Yeah, she won two games today. Can she pitch, can she pitch fast? Yeah, fast pitch. Like, like this. Yeah. What about you? Can you play? I used to play like four years ago, but nowadays I don't play softball anymore. Mm -hmm. I think people uh, don't know me the way that that I play because uh, I tried to get into a team like one one month ago, and they didn't didn't add me to that to the lineup, and mm -hmm. I quit because I don't want to stay in, in that team if they don't give me a, a of course. opportunity to play. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I, used to, I used to play baseball when I was a little kid. Yeah, I used to play baseball as well. Um, when I you know, many people don't understand, but baseball is a very beautiful sport. Yeah, I love baseball, softball, both. Oh, good. I, I used to play um, volleyball as well, and yeah. also ping pong. Oh, you know what is a very demanding? Do you know the expression demanding? Yes. A very demanding sport is tennis. Yeah, tennis. Tennis is difficult. Yeah, it's but difficult. It's, it's hard. very hard, yeah. In the TV, you see it. Oh, okay. No man, it, it you have to have a very good physical condition. Exactly. Yeah. What are you drinking, Joanna? I'm drinking tea. Uh, eh, manzanilla. I don't know. Chamomile. Chamomile tea. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> and what do you put? You just put the bag. Okay, you don't put yes. You don't put sugar or or uh, honey. No, eh, oh. I put tomillo también. Eh, it's eh, that that is uh, for the throat. For the throat. Okay. Uh, Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Nice. What about you? Hi, Irma. Are you there, Irma? Okay. No. She was there. Stanley, are you there? Catherine, Reina, Alejandra, Theodora. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Reina. 
Welcome to the class. <laughs> uh, uh, how do you say siempre estaba aquí? <laughs> I always been here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. No, but you know, is is repeat, uh, repeat please. It's I, <laughs> I uh, have I have always been here. Uh, I have always been here. <laughs> no, been here. I've uh, been here. Okay. Yes, I understand. <laughs> so, si <¿sí> entendí eso. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. What about you, Alejandra? Are you there? Hi. Good evening. Hi, Alejandra. Hi. Are you listening to me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. How are you? Fine, I think. Where, and you? Where, I'm good. Where are you? In your house? Yes, I'm in my house. I, I'm sorry, I forgot. Where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. Oh, yeah, you live in Santa Ana. And you are 27, yes. right? Yes, yes. Okay, oh, yes. No, because I remember that before I was asking you questions. Okay, okay, cool. Thank you. How is Santa Ana okay. right now? Is it hot? Normal? Very hot. Mm, for me, it's very hot. And uh, the weather here, where I live, is mm -hmm. fresh. But now, I think it's very hot. Oh, okay. You don't, you don't actually say fresh. You say cool. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, class, uh, let me open the, uh, the platform. Please give me one second. Hold on, okay? Pass, can you see the lady? <laughs> no, teacher. Okay. What about now? Yes, now, yes. Yes, okay. yes, teacher. yes teacher. Oh, okay, good. Hold on. This is the one we did yesterday, remember? Rather and prefer. Yes, I remember. Okay, hold on. Okay, so let's do the knowledge check. Okay. All right. Okay, teacher. 
Okay, teacher. So basically, listen, look what it says here. What is the difference between rather and prefer? I would rather is followed by the infinitive without two. So, for example, I would rather eat I would rather eat pupusas than tacos. I would prefer is followed by two and an infinitive. So, for example, I would prefer to eat pupusas to tacos. Do you see the difference? So when you say I, I would prefer use to, I would prefer to go, I would prefer to see, I would prefer to listen, I would prefer to work. A, my call center people, ya vieron lo que ah, supuestamente firmó Bukele. Uh, no. Nope. No. Yes, lo de Google. Google Office. That's crazy, man. Google is coming to El Salvador. And is that true? Yes, I he's I mean what what I have seen, I think so. He actually went to, to San Francisco to sign the contract. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very impressive, teacher. Yes, because uh, man, Google. <laughs> Google es la empresa más que tiene más demanda ahorita en el mundo. Pero ojalá los empleos se queden acá. <laughs> so many people are going to come and live here, I imagine. Many people from Mexico, from Latin America, pero the majority of people, are, I hope, are from. Yo voy a aplicar, chis, yo trabajé en Google. <laughs> Te luz, but I, 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 you know, I will apply. I would say, hey, I have experience in Google. Con que trabajando en Google en Telus fue súper chivo, ya me imagino trabajando en Google, Google. Okay. Yeah. Well, so anyways, it's a good opportunity. I really recommend you. So speak English. <laughs> Thank you, Just a little detail. Mm -hmm. That make um reading the example you given, so we can say also I would prefer pupusas than tacos. Yes, I would. No, I would prefer to eat pupusas. No, because it very say or a noun. Or a noun, yes, but remember. No, but in this case, listen, I would prefer is followed by two. So you have to put two after that. So I would prefer to uh, to eat. I see your point, but estoy pensando un ejemplo con un noun. Okay, example, cardio. ¿Qué un tipo de ejercicio? Cardio o pesas, right? Cardio or weights. For example, you can say, I would prefer to cardio to weights. So in this case, cardio is not a verb, it's a noun. Ah, okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. So it's... It's really that simple. I would rather is followed by infinitive without two. So I would rather go. So don't say I would rather to go. 
So for example, Irma, what would you rather eat? Hamburgers or tacos? Uh, is to me? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Irma Gardamens, yes. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. I would rather eat hamburger. Than tacos. Than tacos. <laughs> okay, good. Or if I ask you with prefer, what do you prefer to eat? Hamburgers or tacos? I prefer to eat hamburgers to tacos. I prefer to eat hamburger to tacos. Mm -hmm. That? Yes. Okay. You, you know what? I love tacos, but I mm -hmm. don't I don't eat tacos frequently. I only eat tacos when I am alone. <laughs> because it's easy to cook. No, like um, the problem is that tacos are not very social for for dinner. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Like for example, imagine you go on a date. Mm -hmm. When you go on a date with mm -hmm. a man or a woman, you want to in dinner is very important because you want to talk, eat, talk, eat, talk. And Thank the you. problem is <laughs> tacos, if you wait two minutes and the tortilla gets cold, <laughs> then the tacos are not good anymore. <laughs> it's very tayuda. <laughs> For example, a pupusa, una pupusa went that, what, 10 minutes? And it's yeah. still hot. So you can, you know, you imagine you ask for four pupusas, you can eat and talk. But tacos, <laughs> tacos, if you don't eat the tacos in three minutes and the tortilla gets cold, then the tacos is not really good. And the tacos gets uh, hard. Yes, exactly. So that's why, that's why when I am alone, I eat tacos. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to eat tacos frequently because my tummy is empty. <laughs> I cannot sat satisfy my tummy. <laughs> oh yeah, because you you yes, tacos are expensive and you need to eat like five or six. Yes, at least. <laughs> yes, Laura. Have you ever eat tacos at um uh, near Universidad Tecnológica, this place where um, el, uh, Tortas del Charco. I know the place, but no, I have never eaten there. I recommend you. It costs one dollar each taco. And oh, it's dollar. double tortilla. And uh, I prefer to eat tacos than the, uh, the torta there. Very good example. I prefer to eat tacos to tortas. Okay. Uh, oh, I remember. I, I, I La remember. Correct, I think is the name. Of you know, I used to eat tortas el sarco, but when he was in the street a long, long, long time ago. But now, Yes, I know where the business is, but I have never gone and I want to go. Maybe I will go this Saturday. Good idea. But I, I recommend you the tacos than, than the, the, the correcta. Because I think the, 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 um, the bread for the la correcta is too high. It's, yes, it's uh, too big. Mm -hmm. It's more it's more red than, than food. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? I will try the tacos then. Do you remember Sanborns? Yes. Uh, did you ever eat the all-you-can-eat tacos? Yes. I think I think it was nine ninety nine and all-you-can-eat tacos. Yes. Every day. I found a place in Instagram called Las Pinajas, I think. And it costs twelve dollars um, for all you can eat of tacos. And I think it's just Tuesday and Thursday the the 
de promoción, ¿cómo se dice de promoción? De promo. De promo. Wow. I want to go with my husband to 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 uh, break the record of 13 tacos for a woman. <laughs> 13. That's a record. Oh, no. You know, I asked in in Sanborns what was the record. And they told me that one person ate 35 tacos wow. with double There's, double men, tortillas. It's 30 tacos. Yes, and it's double tortilla too in that place. And for men in that place, it's 30 tacos, the record. Wow. So for $12 <laughs> tacos? Yeah. You know, now I am hungry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't have dinner yet. I haven't had dinner yet. Have, I haven't had dinner yet. Do you um do you know the difference class between yet and already? Um yet. Uh, yet you can use when it's negative the sentence. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Rina. Um, I have a question. Sure. Um, I don't understand when I use it. Will I perfect or will um right I creo que verdad. I'm sorry, I I can't. I I didn't hear you. <laughs> Speaking lo que <laughs> o sea, I don't understand when I answer. Cuando contest, cuando debo mm -hmm. contestar en español, mejor, verdad? <laughs> o en inglés. <laughs> um, in no, English is. In English, okay. I don't understand uh, when I use it in a question. Um, oh, ya me confundí. Lo voy a intentar. I don't want to say I use it will or when I use it I prefer for example um, I prefer listen to music um, than watch TV mm -hmm. me, me di a entender o sea no entiendo cuando tengo que contestar con will o cuando tengo que contestar solo con I prefer. Yes. Ajá. No entiendo, o sea, no, no, um, no sé, me quedé ahí. Ok, no problem. No ¿Eh? problem. Ok, but before that, Irma, the difference between the difference between already and yet is when the action finished and hasn't happened. Okay. For example, in this case, you said, I haven't eaten dinner yet. Okay. The action hasn't happened or hasn't finished. Okay. When you say already, the action happened. For mm -hmm. example, I can say, man, I am hungry and I already ate dinner. Oh, okay. Now I can see the difference. Yes. So like when Laura started talking about tacos, I <laughs> got hungry and I said, and and you and you and I are different because you haven't eaten dinner yet, and I already ate dinner. Oh <laughs> yeah. so we're both hungry, so I am in trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but you know, you know what I do when I really get hungry and At night, I go to the refrigerator and I eat a tomato. Oh, just a tomato? Yes, but I eat it like an apple. Ah, <laughs> thinking that, that But, is an apple. <laughs> maybe a little salt, but just I eat it. Imagination. <laughs> I want to trick my stomach because no, 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 no. you, Because, you know, <laughs> I open it, I see, oh, I see ham, and I see cheese. and No, no, no. So I get mm -hmm. the tomato and I just start eating it. Ok, and now to the question for Reina. Reina, perfectamente entiendo por qué les cuesta esto. ¿Saben por qué? Porque esto no existe en español, en inglés, en español. Would rather doesn't exist in Spanish. 
in Spanish, the only, the only is preferiría. Okay. Okay. And why not? Preferiría is I would rather. Prefiero is I prefer. Let me explain. So what it says here, look. Let's keep it simple. I would rather, and I prefer. Oh, I prefer. Teacher. Yes. Uh, and we can tra translate rather like me gustaría. Let me explain. Maybe no. Es preferiría. Por, por el complemento. Okay, for look, so I would rather is followed by two and infinitive. Okay, so Hey, donde está highlight? Huh. So I would rather is followed by two. I would rather, que sigue? Infinitive. Infinitive. So what is infinitive? A verb. A verb. A verb. Plus complement. Oops, I'm sorry. Example, I would rather eat Kentucky Fried Chicken than Pollo Campero. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. So I used that I would rather, but lo que sea un no, 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 is I would rather to eat. It's a rule. It's a rule, yes. So I would rather, and then the verb. And if you, and if you use, will prefer? It's followed by two plus infinitive. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would prefer to eat pupusas to tacos. Am I okay? So here is, I would prefer to eat pupusas to tacos. And when you use would rather, you use then. And when mm -hmm. you just would prefer, you use to in the final complement. Yes. Ah, that is a uh, difference that I see now. Okay, I now always. Now to understand what is would for Reina. Yes, teacher. What is would class in general? What is would? 
Well, it's for future. It's an auxiliary verb for future, I think. ¿Saben qué? Hagamos una cosa, hold on. Si vamos a aprender uno, vamos a aprenderlos todos. Let's go basic. What is can? Poder. Can ability. Habilidad. Can, yes, it's an ability or a permission. Pero realmente es ability. Permission is may. Pero people say, can I go to the bathroom? Y ya va a estar difícil cambiar eso, pero really it's not correct. It's may I go to the bathroom. Can is an ability. So for example, can you drive? Irma, can you drive? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> okay, no, I can't. Good. So the, the only possible answer is yes, I can. No, I can't. All right. Uh, Joanna, can you dance bachata? No, I can't. No, I can't go. Dance is an ability. Edgar Abel, can you can you English? Uh, yes, I can. Yes, I can what? I can speak English. Oh, okay, speak. But if you listen to my question, is can you English? Mm. So it's not correct. My question no. is not correct. So when okay. I say can you, you need a verb. Mm -hmm. Because the verb is an ability. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, Cecilia de Los Angeles, hi. Yes. Hi, teacher. Hi, Cecilia. Can you do? Can you swim? Uh, yes, I can swim. Good. So Alejandra Beatriz, what is the difference between can and may? Uh, may is a permission and can is a, a, an ability. Very good, yes. So can is an ability and permission, informal. May is only permission. I remember when I was a little kid, Yulisia, me teacher, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? And she answers, I don't know. You look at what? I don't know. Can you? I want to go to the bathroom. Can I go? I don't know. De verdad, me tenía así tonteando. Until she explained to me, is may I? Pero si ustedes lo ven en películas y todo eso, es porque es un tema gramatical. Okay. Okay, next. What is could? Exactly. Could is the past of can. Let me see. Who is the youngest person in, in this classroom? I, I assume it's Alejandra. Because Alejandra, you're in your 20s, correct? Yes. So, um, listen, Alejandra, can you, can you, can you drive? Yes, I can. Okay. Could you drive when you were 15? Yes, I think I could. Okay. Wow, really? <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, Okay, could you drive when you were 10? No. <laughs> no, I couldn't. No, no, I couldn't. I couldn't. Good. Porque la habilidad se desarrolla, right? So Alejandra, when she was 10, she couldn't drive. But now she can. A baby, a baby. When a baby is four months old, the baby can't walk. 
But when the baby is one year, year and a half, yes, the baby can walk because the ability is developed. Correct? So simply could is the past of can. Who can who can answer this question? What is something you can't do now, but before you could? I uh, when I was a child, I could do to sing. By now, I can't. <laughs> okay, good. When I was younger, I could eat 10 pupusas. Now, I can only eat three and I'm... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I when, remember. When I was younger, I could go on all the rides, todas las ruedas. Now I can't. I get dizzy. Like, ugh. Okay, so no problem. We understand can, may, and could, right? Yeah. Now, yes, yes. Now, yeah. next, would. This is a little difficult because I understand that this doesn't exist in Spanish. What is would? Yes. Como el hubiera. El haría. Haría. Ok, haría. ¿Qué más? Uh, todo lo que termine en ella. <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> Eso es para mí el perfecto. Todo el verbo en ella. El would hace el verbo ella. Por eso es que I would... I would rather, or I would prefer, preferiría. You see, I would prefer. Si yo digo, I would go, ¿qué dije? Iría. Yo iría. So, yeah. termine la oración, yo iría. Yo iría. I would go. No, no, en Spanish. Beach. Yo iría mañana. Yo iría, yo iría a trabajar. Ajá, continúe. Sí. Yo iría a trabajar los domingos. Sí, me pagan extra. Un ejemplo, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Ese sí es a condition. Que es el if. So look. Ahí. Okay, so I would plus the verb So, for example, I rest Saturday and Sunday. But I would work, so I would work Saturday and Sunday if they pay me quadruple. It's an example. A la droga me van a mandar con salud, pues. Bye bye, no van a decir. No, ah, like, yeah. hey, puedes trabajar sábado y domingo. No, I would work if you pay me. Sí, te vamos para doble. No, I would work if you pay me quadruple. Okay, salud. Next. So, we understand would, right? So, would as el verbo ia. And next we have will. Da, 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 da. What is will? Future. 
I will Keep survive shot. as long as I know I'm alive. I know I'm. Como va la canción? Once I was afraid, I was petrified. Can I... Which one? The Gloria Gaynor, remember? Es como la canción favorita cuando alguien rompe con alguien. I oh. will survive oh, as long I as I'm. Survive. Yeah, that song. <laughs> As long as I'm alive, I know I will survive. Okay, so what is will? What is the difference? Okay, will is future, yes. Pero también... Como voluntad o algo así. Going to is future too. Yes. But going to is for something is planned. Okay, so... What is correct? I am going to go to the beach or I will go to the beach? I'm going to go to the beach. Okay. Google is going to come or Google will come to El Salvador? Google. It's going, going to come going. to El Salvador. Okay. Se lo voy a poner más simple. Joana, si sus hijos le preguntan, mamá, fíjate que en la escuela me han preguntado qué es la diferencia de yo voy a ir y yo iré. ¿Qué es la diferencia, mamá? What, what answer would you give your child? Eh, en español. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, yo voy a ir. Este, este... Eh, acuérdese, Joana, que su hijo tiene que entender esa respuesta porque la Ajá. va a llevar al. <risa> y dijo: Yo voy a ir y yo iré. Yes. Yo iré es, es, un, es algo que está por hacerse pronto. Uh -huh. Y yo voy a ir. Ya me la puse en qué pensar. <risa> <risa> No, no, it's okay, perfectly. I understand. Puede ser, digamos, en un futuro, un futuro así, digamos, yo lo entiendo así, Will es el futuro, digamos, mis hijos dicen, yo voy a hacer, voy a estudiar eh, un doctorado cuando vaya a la universidad. Okay. Se usa el Will. Y el going es, yo iré a la escuela mañana. Okay, the, you know, okay, good. Sometimes the difference is not big and not important. But sometimes the difference is big and important. Let me explain. I will En buen salvadoreño es el verbo en hará, iré. I will go, yo iré. I will survive. ¿Qué dije? I will survive. Sobreviviré. Sobreviviré. And I'm going to is, yo voy a. So in this case, I'm going to go to the beach Sunday or I will go to the beach Sunday. The two are correct because it's not important. But now listen to this. So teacher, then what is the difference? Porque se dice dos formas. Ah, because sometimes when you say will, it's a compromise. Uno se está comprometiendo a un evento, a algo. That's Example, wrong. when you watch a movie and you see the man to the woman or the woman to the man, hoy en día, man to man or woman to woman. I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, siempre dice, will you marry me? Correct? You have never seen people say, are you going to marry me? Cuando dan el anillo. 
It's always, will you marry me? Why? Because the answer is, yes, I will. De ahí viene la palabra compromise. Se está comprometiendo. Ahora que después, quizá ya no se dé, es otra cosa. But in that moment, you're compromised. Now listen to this. Ah, entonces, ¿qué es I'm going to? I'm going to is a plan. So for example, listen. Hey, class, I'm going to get married. You say, really? When? I don't know, maybe next year. Maybe next, for example, Alejandra Beatriz, you're young. Uh, do you have a boyfriend? All you two will know. <laughs> All you two will know. Man, you see, this is difficult to know who's active in class or not. Because I know Cecilia's married, Joanna's married. Hey, Edgar. Oh, yeah, yeah Edgar's married. Susana. No, I don't want Susana to speak. Okay, imagine I tell you, hey, I'm going to get married. When? I don't know, maybe next year. So it's a plan. O sea, ni siquiera le he propuesto matrimonio. We just, we talked about it. Pero si yo digo, hey, class, I will get married in December. Tiene un tono más fuerte, ¿no? Por, de hecho, dije diciembre. ¿Por qué dije diciembre? Maybe ya tengo fecha, lugar. Yes. So now. Porque ya, porque ya le dijo que sí. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, she said yes. Uh-huh. Now listen to this. Here's my question again. So I'm going to go to the beach Sunday. I'm going to go to the beach to a wedding on Sunday. Or I will go to the beach on a wedding Sunday. Bueno, quitemos beach. I'm going to go to a wedding on Sunday or I will go to a wedding Sunday. What do you think is I'm more correct? Going. I'm going because you you know the specific time when the action will happen. Okay, so it's I will. Oh. Because look, antes que nada, the two are correct. Okay, no problem. I can say I'm going to go Sunday to a wedding or I will go Sunday to a wedding. But remember, when you say I will, tiene un tono más fuerte de compromiso. So, for example, me today, yo tengo comprometido mi, mi domingo. So, imagine you invite me, hey, teacher, let's go to the beach Sunday. I can't. Why? Because I will go to a wedding. So, yo, I am compromised. O sea, like I said, plans can change. You know, it's okay. Maybe no me importa mucho esa persona, pero se va a tener que hacer algo para que yo cambie ese plan. It's a compromise. Ahora, Joanna, you said, my son is going to study engineering or my son will study engineering. Okay, so right now, maybe the plan is he's going to study engineering. Pero si ya se inscribió y todo la U, de ingeniería, oh man, I'm so happy. Why? Because my son will start engineering in November. Si yo digo eso, entiendo que su hijo, si va a empezar no bien ingeniería, o sea, entiendo muchas cosas, que él ya se inscribió, ya llenó papeleo, ya tiene listo para empezar. So that, teacher, that yes. Teacher, eh, no. quiero ver si le entiendo. Um, it's a will, es como una probabilidad de no. que algo va a suceder. No, no. 
Hey, hey, going is como que ya Laura, va a Laura, will you marry me? No, Will, imagine, say yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, I will. Wait, I'm sorry. ¿Quién me estaba hablando? Nidia era. Yes. Oh, yes, oh, oh, yes. I'm sorry, Laura. <laughs> Nidia. <laughs> will you marry me? Yes, I marry. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. ¿Qué acaba de hacer? Afirmarlo. Comprometerse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Nidia, I have. Um, Nidia, I need your assistance. Can you help me tomorrow in the afternoon? Will you help me? Mm. No, I don't know. I will paint my house on the weekend. I need help. Will you help me? Hey, I will. Uh, Nidia, if I you don't, don't under if you don't understand my question, no, no, the answer is going to be impossible. Yes. Listen, Nidia. Sunday, I will paint my house. I need help. Will you help me? No, I will not uh, um, compromise. Okay. Oh, I go. I, yeah, I have. I will. I will not. I, ¿cómo está? Que no puedo. Okay. Uh -huh. But imagine, diga que sí. Okay, yes. I say, I okay, will. imagine Nidia, imagine you are my my cousin, my very beautiful cousin. And I said, Hey Nidia Prima, I need help. I need to paint my house in one day, Saturday. Will you help me? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Uh -huh. Joanna, invite a, a Nidia a almorzar el sábado. Nidia will do you want to eat? Nidia, do you want do you want to eat? Oh tacos. Uh tacos on Sunday? Saturday. On Saturday? Nidia, no. No, I I can't. I can't. Uh Joanna, why? Why? Um I will exactly. uh, I will at, at work or I kill no. Okay. No, no. no, why can't you eat tacos? Because I will help my cousin paint the house. <laughs> I will. Uh, yes, I will. No entendió el escenario, ¿verdad? Que le puse. Uh, it's a complicated. No, I no, it's really not complicated. The question was very basic. Usted dijo que me iba a ayudar el sábado. Vino Joana y le invitó a comer el sábado. Y usted no puedo. ¿Por qué? Porque le ayudaré a mi primo a pintar la casa. Okay. O sea, usted se comprometió. Vuelvo y repito, el compromiso no tiene que ser tan heavy, o sea, es, es como la uh -huh. palabra, está en su conciencia. Okay. Si usted, si usted bien puede romper el compromiso con su primo, hey, hey, primo, ya no puedo, you know, whatever, pero eh, depende que le pesa más, quiere ir a comer con Joana o realmente va a ayudar a su primo a pintar. Entonces, ahí, ahí es donde pesa Will, pero la, las dos son, son ok. So, in this case, I asked Nidia, Nidia, will you help me paint my house on Saturday? Nidia said, yes, I will. He, Nidia's good friend, Joanna, le dice, hey, Nidia, hi, how are you? Hola, Joanna, how are you? Hey, vamos on Saturday. Ah, man, I can't. I can't Saturday. Why? Because I will help my cousin paint the house. Vuelvo y repito, o sea, eh, cuando se dice, no, es que le ayudaré a mi primo a pintar la casa. Solo por el hecho que dije, le ayudaré. 
se oye como que usted ya había un compromiso previo a eso. Pero también puede cambiar la historia, pero, pero espérate, voy a hacer, a ver si lo podemos hacer el domingo. Déjame ver y yo te llamo. Pero esa es la diferencia de le ayudaré y le voy a ayudar a mi primo. O sea, like what I told you, sometimes the difference is not important, but sometimes yes. For example, Susan, imagine a boy and a girl have sexual relations with no protection. What is a big, big probability that will happen? She will get pregnant. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you can say she's going to get pregnant, but there's a big probability that she will <laughs> she will get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Se estará metiendo un huevo. Se estará, you know. That, that's the difference between will. <laughs> no, no, noten como ella dijo will in solo y no going to. So um, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes the difference is big. Sometimes it's not. Susana también puede decir she's going to get pregnant. Okay, good. But remember, when you say will is a commit, o sea, veanlo así, going to is a plan and will is a compromise. Un compromiso o es un plan. All right. No es nada más, no es, o sea, will es como que si yo depend, no, 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 es si quieren, si quieren que suene como tono de compromiso es I will. Si tienen que suene como un plan, I'm going to. That's, ahí está en su forma como lo quieren decir. ¿Se acuerdan el amor eterno? I will love you forever. El amor eterno dura cuatro meses. <risa> No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Por eso todas las canciones. And I will always love you. I will die for you. I will do this for you. I will always love you. I will never lie to you. Porque ahí siempre soy, I will, I will, I will. It's a compromise that can mm -hmm. be broken. <laughs> exactly. Pero es como yo les digo, si ustedes quieren sonar fuerte como compromiso, digan I will. Si no, pueden decir, I'm going to, it's a plan. Pero por eso yo les digo, nunca van a oír o ver en una película a alguien que le diga, are you going to marry me? Y cuando le está dando el anillo, siempre es, will you marry me? ¿Te casarías conmigo? Yes, I will. Or no, I won't. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, vienen los temerarios. Oh, man, I will go. Example, o viene Coldplay. Oh, man, I will go. Ya me... no, sí o no, hasta en español. No, ahí sí iremos. Porque están diciendo, fíjense, pens pensando bien en español, inconscientemente, porque están diciendo iremos y no vamos a ir. Mm -hmm. Ella oyeron que va a venir Bon Jovi. ¿En serio? ¿Cuándo? No, ahí iremos, man. O sea, están diciendo llueve, truene, whatever. I will go. Si no les importa mucho Bon Jovi, oh, ok. Eh, I'm going to go. Or maybe. You see, es. That, that is. Irónicamente es lo mismo en español. Analicen bien eso cuando usan iré o voy a ir, veré o voy a ver, compraré o voy a comprar. Cuando uno no tiene dinero dice voy a comprar, algún día voy a comprar un carro, algún día voy a comprar esos zapatos. Ya cuando tiene el dinero es mañana compraré mi par de zapatos, mañana compraré mi par de zapatos, you know. Yes. The same in English. Okay. 
Then thank you, class. Thank you for everybody who participated today. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Yes. I see yes. you. Thank you. Thank Nidia, you remember, you need to pay attention to the question. If, if, yes. you, do, if you don't understand the question, you will not understand the answer. But okay, thank you. Teacher. Pero gracias por preguntar. Esa es la idea. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a wonderful night. I hope you feel better. You too. I hope you. Bye. Bye.